Brexit Britain's economy may grow exponentially compared to the EU's by the end of this year, economists claim, sparking calls for the Netherlands to leave the bloc. Nexit Denk Tank campaigners are urging the Dutch government to allow for a referendum on the Netherlands' membership to the EU, arguing Brexit Britain is a great example of life outside the bloc. The Dutch campaigners are calling on anti-Brexit fearmongers to admit they were wrong about the catastrophic predictions made ahead of the 2016 UK referendum as they cite the latest economic figures proving Britain's success. They said, according to economists, the British economy may have recovered from the corona crisis by the end of 2021, beginning of 2022. The UK economy is expected to grow by 7.6% in 2021 the highest growth in 80 years, in the EU, the economy will grow by 4.4%. The UK had a much greater economic contraction in 2020 than the other EU countries, 9.9%, except for Spain, 10.8%. However, if we look at other economies that have experienced major contractions, such as Italy, 8.9%, then it is noticeable that their economy is not growing as fast as the British economy. The first signs of Brexit are positive. Outside the EU they can function well and in the first year they already have higher economic growth than all other EU countries. The fearmongers are wrong and should actually admit that they were wrong with the interest of the EU. Global economic growth prospects are holding strong for this year and next. Despite a significant majority of economists in Reuters polls warning new variants of the coronavirus poses the biggest risk to that outlook. A global survey of nearly 500 economists taken this month also concluded recent rising inflation in key economies around the world would be transitory. The global economy was now forecast to expand a sizzling 6.0% this year, which would be its fastest in nearly half a century, followed by a still robust 4.5% in 2022. Both were marginal increases from the April poll. Slightly more than half the 48 economies polled on each quarter were upgraded for both years. But a surge in the latest variant of the virus, which has kept the delayed Tokyo 2020 Olympics an event without spectators, is a reminder vaccinations may have improved but the pandemic has not gone away. In recent weeks, financial markets have caught up to the idea that the COVID crisis is not entirely over. The Delta variant adds to the challenge, raising the number of cases and the threshold for herd immunity, said Ethan Harris, global economist at Bank of America Securities. Overall, we see the Delta surge as a moderate headwind to global growth, but as new information comes in, we can be persuaded otherwise.